They really thought tonight was the night. Fresh off a pep talk from a Super Bowl winning coach, Albuquerque High's football team was looking to snap its 37 game losing streak tonight to avoid breaking the state record. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at Mil Milne Stadium. Alex. Jessica, the speeches, the records, that's all important stuff, but really, this was a group of kids that just wanted to win a game. Dogs on three, dogs on three. One, two, three, go! Go! go. And early on, they were fired up. AHS forced two West Mesa turnovers in the early going. But then the floodgates opened. West Mesa blew this game open with touchdown after touchdown and cruised to a solid win. The final score, 41 to 20. The Bulldogs' state record 38th straight loss, a streak dating back to 2010. Parents say the team's give, still giving their all despite all the jokes and embarrassing losses. Big heart, big heart um, amongst each other and they're sticking together and playing hard together. Um, young players with the older players, they're, they're helping each other out. This loss now wipes Santa Fe High out of the record books. They'd been there since the mid 90s. Now next week, Albuquerque High gets a winnable game for its final game of the season. They take on one and seven Rio Grande. Back to you. Okay, Alex, the Bulldogs had some extra motivation tonight. Tony Dungy, who won a Super Bowl as a player and then as coach with the Colts, visited the school today to fire up the team. You guys have a big game tonight. You're excited and fired up, and we're planning on you going out there and getting the job done and winning. Is, is that the plan tonight? Well, Dungy, who works as a motivational speaker when he's not talking football on TV, is in town for a public education convention.